Hi everyone, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Now this open call collaboration is the brainchild of Sharon. She's so fabulous. Sharon, you are right. This is fun. This is not work because I would pretty much paint anything. People included. I love to paint. This canvas was painted by using recycled canvas and today's project is this one right here. We're at the beach. Now I'm going to give you a complete list of supplies in the information box of this video. And by the way, we're painting with cling wrap. Now this is the second time that I'm going to recycle this canvas. Yeah, you see popsicle sticks holding it together. So let's go ahead and get started. Now there'll be a link attached at the end on the end cards for the very first painting of this canvas. All right, so it's time to scratch the frame all together and I'm going to have to come up with a new way of hanging it on the wall. I started out by using primer. Last time it was a little difficult to cover up the dark paint that was there. So the primer is certainly helpful. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm just going to coat it with a regular spray paint in white just to make sure I've gotten great coverage. Now, I don't normally spray paint in the garage, but hey, with the rain and the bugs, I had to make some adjustments. Now, if you want to mix your paint, you might want to go ahead and have some little bowls lying around. I also have a bucket of water because that's how you're going to wash your hands. Remember, that's the paintbrush. Now, Sharon wants us to share how we are feeling while we are painting and expressing ourselves. I'm overjoyed because painting period just makes me happy. Now, we all have a color that calms us down. And blue is my calming and relaxing color. So what are the colors that make you feel relaxed or happy? They're one and the same when it comes to art. So now I'm going to continue and cover the entire canvas. I'm just doing the background colors and then we'll go back and add the water that splashes onto the beach and washes back out into the ocean. Isn't that relaxing? And remember to paint the sides of your canvas as you're painting. That way you don't have to worry about touching it up when you're done. Now I haven't done a project with Ceram or a cling wrap since high school. So the thing that I like about it is it brings back some childhood memories in doing this. And the only thing that I had to buy to do this DIY was the cling wrap from Dollar General for $1.50. Now Sharon also told us that she wanted to make sure that we did the work and then end up in a store buying a work of art for the collab. So she wanted to see exactly what we did to create our work of art. So guys, that's what I'm doing. So now I have all of my background colors and now it's time to start layering on the paints to give the water some waves. So once that was done, I dipped my hands with my gloves on into my water bucket, cleaned those off, wiped them off with one of my husband's old t-shirts that's lying on the floor right there beside me. And now we start to use the Ceram Wrap. You hold the entire spool in one hand and pull out just enough, at least as much as you think you will need. And then you simply stretch it across, mixing the colors to paint that you've put onto the canvas. Now guys, I think this is the perfect romantic date night project. 
for you and your significant other to do a canvas together. All you'd have to do is put your paint onto the canvas, whether it's large dots, small dots, stretch out your cling wrap and just stretch it across the canvas and create your own work of art. Now I'm actually blending three different colors together. This is a spa blue, a morning blue, and white. These are all craft paints and they're all being blended with the cling wrap. And then we're going to overlap and touch the next color, which is the sand. And that color is actually called burlap. And once you're done applying the paint from the plastic wrap, you tear it off, throw it away. Now this is a large canvas, so from this angle, you can kind of see the waves from the water being formed. And I'm continuing to layer on the paint so I can get those splashes. Now when my husband saw me walk out of the bedroom with my black t-shirt and my paint pants and looking for my paint shoes, he was like, oh God, she's probably going to spend the afternoon in the garage. But this project really took about three hours and in between the times of putting on the paint, I was letting it dry. Now you can do this project without gloves. Just keep your hand on the right side of the cling wrap. Now, with this little fun project, guys, you don't wait until the paint dries before you move it around. I am blending, so as one color gets onto the cling wrap, I'm picking it up and carrying it to the other side. So, for instance, the teal is mixing in with the sand. So, that's okay, because that's what you want to do. You want it to look connected. Now, as you're painting the front of your canvas, it's a good idea to go ahead and paint the sides of the canvas. That way, if you're blending a lot of color, it just flows right over the edges. Now, I had the privilege of living about three quarters of a mile away from the beach. I could literally walk there and there is nothing like walking along the beach after a long, hard day or week. And as a matter of fact, my husband and I would do sunrise services at the beach, just us two. using Moroccan brown, gunmetal gray, and dark brown to replicate how the sand looks when it has lots of seashells in it along the very edge of the beach. That was my favorite spot because that's where I would get the most seashells. Now I know it looks a little messy, but it's going to come together. I like those little swirly lines. You can't go wrong with this kind of DIY. It's just so easy. 
go dark, you go light. If you think you make a mistake, you just add a few more dots of a different color paint and just keep it moving. I like this project a lot. Now I was married at a golf resort at the beach. I also did a recommitment service to my Lord and Savior at the beach, a church that I attended in South Carolina did a recommitment and baptism service. Now for the recommitment, you simply walked into the ocean and two large waves would basically pound you and yep I did it I remembered one of the pastors holding my hand oh so tightly and I was floundering around but yes I did it so now I've completed all of my little touch-ups and all I'm going to do is let it dry for a couple of hours and then I'm going to put on a gloss finish now here's where your paintbrush comes in. I'm using a gloss heavy gel. I purchased it from Hobby Lobby sometime last year. Now I know you've seen some really beautiful pieces of art out there, but you think that they are actually paintings. They're not. They're huge pieces of fabric that's been stapled to a frame and then they apply a heavy gel with a few brush strokes in them to give it texture. That's what you're saying. So now I'm showing you that you can do this at home. You can actually create your own work of art and then put on your own gel. This is just putting some drag lines that look like brush strokes all over the painting and it's going to help it to last a while. It also enhances the color and seals the deal. You can buy it at Hobby Lobby, like I said earlier. So there she is guys. I really, really love this work of art. It's so relaxing above the mantle and I can't wait to do a few more beach themed DIYs. Now if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so and remember to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. Thank you so much Sharon for giving me a reason to put on my favorite paint clothes and shoes. I had a whole lot of fun. So guys click in the information box below onto Sharon's channel. She'll have directions for you on how you can connect to all of the collab participants. Thanks a lot for watching and as always stay in prayer and stay creative.